guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's plan this video, we're going to be setting up my social media planner for 2021. I really can't believe 2020 is over. I'm happy, but also realistic in that uh, the first half of 2021 is probably going to be pretty much the same. So <laughs> it's okay. We're going to, we're going to get through it. Um, but we're going to set this up because as you can see, bless you. Because as you can see, we still have November in here and there's a lot of just, it's a mess. But I just wanted to show you how I am going to set this up. So one reason I really like, and I wish I had, um, I wish I had written in all the months. These inserts are from Jane's Agenda and I really, really like them. And it's, it's funny to look back. Like I just started my channel this year in 2020. Um, back in April, I believe it was in April or May. And my goal in July was to reach 60 subs. And I wanted to reach 800 followers on Instagram in August. And I'm now at about 916, 917. I wanted to reach 900 followers on Instagram December. And I did. I actually did that in November. I'm still shocked that I have that many. Um, and I wanted to reach 80 subs on YouTube in November. And I reached 100. And I'm so... Oh, I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. And so now we have this that we can set up um, for 2021. We can set up our goals. And I really like that about these inserts. And so I purchased only the monthly inserts. I didn't get the weeklies because for weeklies, and I'll just, I'll just show you here. So I'll go over these uh, dividers in a little bit. We'll talk about those in a little bit, but for my weeklies, it's very functional here in the uh, here in the social media half letter planner. We're very functional, so it's really like a lot of it is just it's a notebook um, where I jot down things, and sometimes I'll track, you know, the days, um, particularly for YouTube. But I've really been liking the monthly layout for tracking my uploads. You'll see this, right? Excuse me, I'm filming. Do you do you mind? Are you serious? She has never done this. Are you kidding right now? Like, are you actually serious? This is ridiculous. I can't believe. I cannot believe you right now. All right, you know what? She she wants to be here, so we're just gonna roll with it. So you'll see um, the. <laughs> It's ridiculous. The monthly layout has been working really well for me to plan out my videos. And I, I was trying to like write my weeklies and write, you know, film on this day and edit and upload and make thumbnail. And it just, it was like too redundant. Like if I just write, my video is going to be called my favorite planner shops. I know that I'm going to film and edit and upload. Like it's okay if I film it and edit it here and schedule it for here. Like I just felt like that wasn't helping me. It was actually stressing me out more to try to track that in my weeklies. So I'm using the monthly and really enjoying it. I cannot believe this cat right now. Do you see yourself on the monitor? Yeah. Why don't you look up? Say hi. So anyway, um, I made these dividers and I'm really excited about them. I made... I can't. So I used my um, Honey Bee Shop, so I'm a subscriber to the Babe Box, and I use these papers from the Babe Box to make dividers, and I'm super happy with them. So for, for this, for my social media planner, um, if you saw my last video where I was setting it up and kind of like giving it a makeover, I redid it to include uh, Blush Baby. So I put these Blush Baby, okay, she's over it. Um, these Blush Baby die cuts here in the pockets. So I wanted to kind of stick with that Blush Baby theme for the dividers. And um, in that video, I showed how I made these dividers. I'm really, really happy with them. Honestly, like, I'm pretty proud. So I went ahead and made some more. And um, in that video, I showed, but basically, I just take the paper, and this is half letter size. So since the paper comes in eight and a half by 11, this is half. So you can literally just cut it right in half and I laminate it. 
and that's it. It's super easy. And as far as the tabs, these tabs I got at Walmart. They are reusable tabs by, I want to say, I'll have to put it on the screen and in the description. I can't remember who makes these tabs right now, but they're great because they're reusable. So here's what I do. So I'm actually going to just keep reusing these dividers. I'm going to change this to January. So I'm going to put this back on here. Just kind of line that up. And just peel off this sticker. Now, these monthly stickers are from one of the Happy Planner, um, Happy Memory Keeping books. And so I use those stickers on these tabs. You can also just write on these. I like to use stickers if I have them because then I can just do that. I can just um, peel the sticker off and put a new one down and just reuse it. So I'm going to change that to this will be January and then this will be February. I'm going to move it down just a bit. And this will be March, so I'm going to have to get some new tabs here. I am going to peel off. Don't worry. Peel off December. I was about to say, Dit, you made your YouTube debut, but she was in my video the other day about how to photograph your planner spreads. She was in that too. So these are the ones I have. Avery. That's it. Avery. It just... Yeah, it's right on the back, you dingus. Okay, Avery. <laughs> That's who makes these. So you can see here, these are like, they have longer, like actual, you know, adhesive, I guess. Um, and these obviously don't go with the theme of this planner, but I have them. I use them in my uh, B6. Very cute. These are the ones we're going to be using. So I'm going to hopefully, yeah, I have enough of the uh, rose gold because the rose gold is perfect with this theme. So we have January, February, this will be March. Actually, this is a different color. This is more like copper, but I think it still goes. I think it still looks really pretty. So I'm just going to do that. I may end up changing these two because it's probably going to drive me crazy. I know how I am. I could just go get more rose gold, but ain't nobody got time for that. And I did, I put one here on the top for notes. I'm going to change that sticker, but um, this is where my section will be. I'm going to use this for notes just to have like, you know, just notes, things I'm jotting down in the back um, and like filler paper and stuff. So thinking this really does get on my nerves um, as far as having the tabs with this uh, pen holder. It does drive me a little bonkers, but it's okay. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, so um, I use not only Blush Baby, but once Book Gazer came in, Book Gazer just goes so well with the Blush Baby theme that I added the Book Gazer papers, and that's what this is. Now, I know they make some smaller ones. I know they make ones that are, like, tinier tabs, and that's, honestly, that's what I really need, because um, these are just a little too big for, because they start overlapping, I think I might have some of the smaller ones. I just let me let me go look. I found some in my stash. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Whew. Okay, that's a relief. So what we're gonna do is we can reuse these. And this is my only one for rose gold. So we're gonna have to throw it on with this bronze one or copper. And the best thing about these is that they are truly reusable and they don't, like, get damaged. I really, very, very happy with them. So I'm going to take these off and we're going to use the smaller ones. And I think that will be much more well suited for this size of planner. And then I can use these in my catch-all. I can use these just in notebooks, like... I love them. I'm so glad I found them. And I got mine at Walmart. And they're very inexpensive as well. So now I've got these for later. This was one I obviously used or wrote on but didn't use. Not really sure what I was doing there. Take that one off. 
So I have silver, the same colors. I have silver, rose gold, gold, and copper slash bronze. So we're going to try to use all rose gold if we have enough, which I think we will. To make this easier on myself, this is what I should have done in the beginning. I'm going to pull these out. We're going to line up the tabs like this, just to make it easier. I just love being able to customize my planner and like not have to run out and buy a new one. Like, oh, it's about to be 2021, I gotta get my new planner. It's like, nope, I've got it right here. I just have to repurpose it. Um, and I probably will switch to one of the smaller tabs for this, but we will get there. And then I also have these two. So let me see actually what order. I think I wanna like alternate Blush Baby Book Gazer. Blush baby, book gazer. Blush baby, book gazer. Blush baby, and then book gazer. All right, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna line these up. And these tabs can be used for either, you know, you can use them on the side or you can use them on the top. And I'm trying to decide which I wanna do. I'm normally a side tab girl, but I'm thinking since this has really been bothering me with this pen loop, if I do them on the top, I'll probably be a lot happier. So let's just try it. All right, y'all. So I've decided this is what we're gonna do. This is going to become an extra that we can just put in for decoration or use it later for something else. What I'm gonna do is this is gonna be January through June and then this will be for notes. So this is the front page. I did get some kind of like pen mark on this, which drives me crazy. I may end up replacing this at some point. And I'm going to keep this in here because that is on the back. I'm going to keep my December for now. It's not going to have a tab because it's going to be coming out very soon. This will be where January begins. I'm going to pop in the January divider. Now we have to figure out what kind of stickers to use. I think I have just the thing. Okay, so these do have a white background. They're not clear background, but I think they'll still be very cute. They're the perfect size and they're what we're going to use right now. These are from the Fruity Sticker Co. Oh, that looks cute. Come on now. I love it. All right, so this is January. And then we have our insert. And again, these monthly inserts are from Jane's Agenda. And then this will be the paper we use to jot things down every week. Uh, if I want to do a weekly layout, I will. Some weeks I do, some weeks I don't. Sometimes I just use it as just straight up, you know, like a notebook. This filler paper is from Muse Lab and I love it. The quality is. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four. We'll do four sheets per month for now. We can always add more in. This will be February. I love this freaking design. Oh, so glad I got these little monthly stickers. I wasn't sure what I was going to use them for when I purchased them, but mm, oh, that's cute. And I do have enough to do it on the back as well. I'm just not sure if I'm going to. All right, so this is gonna be the notes section, like notes and filler paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in the back. This is the rest of my Muse Lab paper that I'm in love with. 
trying to put too many on the disc at a time. Now, I know this whole theme is rose gold, and my discs are gold. It bothers me, too. I just haven't bought any rose gold. or I really want uh, black discs, actually, for this, <coughs> for this uh, planner. My black discs are currently on their, well, they have bats on them, and they're on, <laughs> they're on my uh, catch-all. This is some less than stellar quality um, large dot grid paper that I got at Staples. Super cheap, but it works for just jotting down notes. So I'm going to throw that in the back. I always like to have plenty of extra paper. It's like a security blanket. I like to keep plenty of extra in the back. And this just happened to be in my pile. One sheet of random <laughs> note paper. And then I have this divider left over. So I have a few options. I could, oh God, I love those stickers. This March tab is up a little too high though. Now, I know I have this from Personality Crisis. I don't know why I stuck that there, but it's cute. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it. So this is here just for decoration and I might use it as just like a dashboard. I could put sticky notes on it. I could put stickers and just use it for whatever. Just an extra. There's my little intro page. I'm probably gonna redo. If I can manage to peel these up without damaging the paper, I'll probably put some more of these Blush Baby and Book Gazer stickers on it but for now we're just gonna leave it it works and then we have our kind of monthly overviews here this is where I put my goals um any kind of you know big projects I'll put there and we have holidays here and we have all through 2021 and I still have December in here because I'm still currently using it but we're just gonna flip right to January and this is where we will start for 2021 uh, and so for this, I know this was in my um, previous video about uh, giving my social media planner a makeover, but I took the, I'm really happy with how it came out. I took the um, journaling card and put it on top of the paper and put some washi down and then laminated it. And I think it's really, really cute. And then on the back here, um, I had put down some of the die cuts from Blush Baby and then laminated it. I just, I really, I really love it. And then we'll have our monthly dividers every month where um, here on the front, you can, you know, write projects and goals here. You can do random to-dos here. Sometimes I'll put like YouTube videos here, but it's not really enough space for everything usually. Um, and then you can just jot down anything, you know, random quotes, just space for you to, to use, which I like. And then we have our monthly overview, which this is what I've really been liking lately for tracking YouTube uploads and like what I want to upload on what day. I just it's been working for me. And then we have our filler paper. So this is where I will, um, sometimes I do create spreads, like I said, and other times I just use it as a notebook and just, just write, just jot it down, get it down. Um, <clears throat> And sometimes I just I just write down what I'm going to be doing. Um, with Instagram planning, I've been not really planning as much. I've been trying not to stress too much over my Instagram posts and have that be more organic. And I'm really just kind of focusing on YouTube. But they're like for the week, I'll say you know I know I want to post this, that, and the other, but I don't necessarily hold myself to okay. You have to post on this day because it just it was starting to stress me out and. There's no need for that. All right, and then we have February. This is really pretty. This is from Book Gazer. Then this is the back. I absolutely love it. March. This is from <laughs> This is from Blush Baby as well. And I put the die cuts on there and laminated it. I think it's really pretty. April we have this pattern again so this was the same sheet of paper um, you get two of each pattern but I just flip I flipped it so 
for this one, I had this on the front and this on the back. For this one, I have belt. And for this one, I have this on the front and this on the back. So I thought it was a cool way to use it. Then we have this from Blush Baby. And now on the back, very simple. And for June, we have this from Book Gazer. I love this little cross pattern. And then this will be for notes, and this is from Blush Baby. This has two cat hairs laminated into it, and it drives me crazy. You can see, look, right there, and right there. Oh, and another one I just found, right there. So that drives me a little bit crazy, but it's okay. The pattern is very pretty. Maybe I'll find a way to, I don't know. It just, it really shows up because it's on white, whatever. And then we have that on the back. And then this is the just filler paper slash notes section. And I'm gonna have to find some kind of sticker to label this as notes. But I feel a lot better having this set up. So the next thing to do is sit down and actually plan and write down kind of my YouTube um, goals and plans and everything. And um, uh, I'll be sharing with you guys what I can, but I want to keep some things kind of uh, a surprise for you. But I'm really happy with it. I really love how this turned out. And I'm so glad I decided to go with the top tabs instead of the side. Because that makes this whole situation with this pen loop, it's not an issue anymore. Um, and I really love these little stickers from Fruity Sticker Co. Like, these are perfect for the. I'm so happy. I just think I want to move this down just a tad. It's a little high. All right, y'all. So that is going to be my 2021 social media planner. And I'm really happy with how it came out. I think it's pretty. It's functional. If I could just find a sticker for the, that note section, we'd be really good. And this kind of setup on the front here, I know it's not like Blush Baby themed. But I really like it. Um, it's just all different things I've collected. Some of these stickers are pretty old. Like this is very old. This is from like 20, 2015 or 2016. I remember I got it at a booth at MAGFest. This as well. These are from the same shop. I believe it was called Creepy Kawaii. And yeah, these are obviously Honeybee Shop. These are from um, Paper House Productions from the This Is Us line. I'm going to have to replace this because... I was getting kind of hung up here on this banner. I really love the sticker, but it's kind of peeling away. So I'll have to do that later. <laughs> Don't ask. Um, it's from a game. It's, yeah, it's just random and it makes me laugh. Uh, I'm really happy with this setup. If I could just get some new discs, I'd be, I'd be really happy. Um, the gold is clashing with the whole rose gold vibe for me. It's throwing me off, but I don't have any more discs right now um, that are big enough. I want to have expanders. So I will eventually get some, hopefully, um, some black expander discs and we'll be good to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions about how I plan for social media or how I made these uh, dividers or just, just anything, if you have any questions, let me know. And... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up on your way out if you did. Subscribe if you have not. And I will see you next time.